I don't know if you can see this, but both these devices are charged to 100%. Um, they're about the same brightness level. I don't think they'll fit on the same wrist. I'm going to have to put these on opposite wrists and we'll see which one of them lasts the longest on its battery. I don't know if you can see those. I have to say I do prefer the strap on the gear too. It's much quicker to uh, put on and off once you've got used to it. This is a bit fiddly to say the least, but it will go on. It's just uh, not quite so straightforward. Maybe it's because I'm trying to use my left hand to do it. Never mind. Right. The test is underway. Welcome back to the second video in our Galaxy Gear test. This is the Galaxy Gear 2 Neo running Tizen, and this is the Galaxy Gear Live running Android Wear, the new mobile operating system from Android. Now, uh, yesterday I charged both of these watches up to full in a rundown test to see which one would last the longest and has the best battery life. Basically they have the same processor, memory, etc. The real difference in them is the operating system. So we're going to have a look at these and see which one is going to win. Okay, let's check the battery life on these two devices. So on the Tizen device, I click the pedometer there, you flick to the right and press the controls button and up comes your battery life and volume controls and brightness. Now I set these to a similar brightness level and uh, they have been on an arm both at the same time. So the battery life on this is 52%. That would indicate, because they have similar hardware inside, that the Gear 2 uh, uses a bit more battery than the Gear Live. Uh, about 10% per day more. And on a charge, it'll probably give you, uh, this one will probably give you uh, four less hours than this one of lifespan. Now I've used them, again, when I've switched uh, them on to look at the time, I've switched the other one on as well. They've both had almost exactly the same amount of screen time and use, so it was as fair a comparison as possible. And don't forget, I've only had this for one day, and lithium batteries do improve with three or four charges to their maximum capacity. So this one hasn't even reached its maximum capacity yet, and it's still 10% better after um, 22 hours than the uh, Tizen-based Gear 2 Neo. Another thing we need to consider is the accuracy of the pedometer on these devices. Now comparing the um, step count on my phone here, which is 4,000 odd, uh, we can have a look and see how these agree on their step counts. Let's have a look and see how the Gear Live has counted the steps. So, come down to the step count, 4,000 steps it says there. 4,012. So that's the actual step count, 4,012, and it differs virtually not at all from the phone step count. Now let's look at the Gear 2 Neo. Um, let's have a look at that. And that says we've done 3,494 steps. So that has counted 500 steps less than um, the phone here and the Gear Live. Now that's um, very interesting. Now I noticed when I first got the, the Gear 2 Neo that it doesn't actually start counting your steps until you've done about 15 or 20 steps and then it will add those steps to the total so it will suddenly jump 20 ahead from what it's displaying and start counting on from there. Um, now if you only walk 10 steps it doesn't record any of those steps whereas the phone and the Gear Live do count steps from two or three steps onwards. So um, interesting to note that if you're doing a long walk, it won't make any difference. But if you're walking around the house and doing things, which I would regard as still actually taking some exercise, for example, you're you know, putting the washing away or unloading the dishwasher or washing the floor, 10 steps will not register with the uh, Gear 2 Neo, but they will register with the Gear Live. So I think that's a much more accurate uh, method of tracking your steps. As far as heart rate measurement goes, these two devices uh, seem to be virtually identical. They both measure the heart rate um, to within one or, one or two beats. So they're quite accurate, uh, both of them, for that. And they do have the exact same heart rate sensor in them on the back, albeit in a slightly different place. Another interesting point worth noting is that the apps on uh, the Gear 2 Neo run on the device in the main, um, and it communicates with the phone for its internet connection and to pass... Um, say voice recordings back to the phone whereas uh, the apps on the Gear Live 
run on the phone in the main and it is used more as an information display. Now that might explain why the battery life seems to be much better on the Gear Live than it is on the Gear 2 because the processor in this device is doing a lot less work than the one in this. Um, another thing that's uh, different about the two of them is that the Gear Live is missing the IR blaster here to control your TV set. Now, since we already have the remote controls, it's just a nice little gimmick to have that. Um, it's handy, but uh, not necessary really in my point of view to have an IR blaster. I have one on my phone and I have the original remotes. So to be honest, I think they've probably worked out that whilst most people like it as a gimmick, it's not actually that useful to have and uh, they've left it out of this one, probably for price reasons. If you have an average wrist like mine, the uh, straps are equally comfortable, but I prefer the clasp on the uh, Gear 2 Neo. It's much quicker to put on, take off, and it feels much more secure. And if it comes undone, the watch won't fall off. It'll just come loose on your wrist and you can then um, spread your fingers to stop it falling off or clip it back on again. Whereas if the clasp comes undone on this one, it's just going to fall off and disappear. As far as weight goes, um, the Gear Live is a little heavier than the Gear 2 Neo. And the reason there's such a little difference between the weight, even though this one's made of metal and this one of plastic, is in the strap. Again, if you look at the strap, there's a lot more metal in the strap here than there is in this one here. So, um, the weight difference isn't that great, but you do feel definitely the extra weight on the top of your wrist of this metal body. It feels much more solid and robust. And I like to be reminded that I have a watch on my wrist, otherwise I tend to bang it into things. So it's nice to have the heavy weight of a watch on your wrist there. Um, if you don't like a heavy watch, then this one would be better for you, the Gear 2 Neo. Another thing worth mentioning is that overnight, two more apps have appeared on the Google Play Store. Uh, this is going to be a continuing theme, I think. Most of the apps are basically in compatibility between a normal Android app and the watch, so that there's a, an extension to the app's functionality that uh, comes onto the smartwatch. Whereas the apps for the uh, Gear 2 series and the original Galaxy Gear are more uh, targeted directly at the watch and they are apps that the watch runs itself. I mentioned that before, how the, the software varies between the two devices. Um, this unit runs its own apps and this one seems to run uh, as a, a second display off the phone, so an app will have an extension that runs onto the watch, um, thereby using less processing power and seemingly um, being the reason why the battery life is about 10-15% to 15 better on this watch than this is on that one. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy our videos. If you have any questions at all, please do ask them in comments and I will try and uh, find out the answer for you. Or if I know it, I will post a reply straight away if I possibly can. Also, if you subscribe, like and share our videos, you can enter our free monthly draw uh, for all sorts of prizes. We've given away iPhone 5s, we've given away HTC Ones. So if you like, subscribe and share our videos, then um, it allows us to afford to give away better prizes. Thank you for watching.